So we're heading now to Birdsville and we're going to put down a Tibberborough to pick up some fuel. Indeed we are. This is a non-controlled aerodrome and we haven't been able to get weather information beforehand and we're going to overfly, check the windsock, determine then which runway we'll be using. At that time, that's when we would also be checking for stock. Okay, yep. Charlie Fox for switching to CTAF. Copy, OK to Hotel Sierra. Tim of our traffic, Charlie Yankee, Foxtrot, Cessna 17210 miles to the southeast at 4,500 inbound and estimating the circuit area at time 51. Well, here we are, Tibberborough for a refuel. Why, why have you chosen here, Catherine, for a refuel? Well, uh, it, <laughs> because the refueler answered his phone. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, this is directly on our route. We knew that the fuel was going to be available. Um, also knew that the strip was good here. Uh-huh. It's really important in your flight planning to factor in where you're going to get your fuel. Look, it's not available everywhere, and a refueler may not even be around at the particular time you want to land. So it's a really good idea to ring ahead of time and give them an ETA. Also, make sure you have your credit card or Carnet card. Just pulling out of Tibberborough. We just did a fuel stop there, and it's pretty, pretty lucky that we actually rang, isn't it? Yes, Catherine? absolutely. Uh, Rocky was telling us that uh, she's only able to get fuel when the fuel truck uh, agrees to come in if he's got enough uh, work uh, filling up other stations along the way. Yeah, she said it's very important to check in advance that they do have fuel. Here we go. We're flying from New South Wales right into Queensland. So we really seem to have lost any features now at all. How do you know that we are heading in the right direction? It's very important that we aviate, navigate, communicate. We've got to fly the plane, make sure we know where we're going and that we look after radio communications as well. So holding heading is really important. Okay. So, you know, picking our points ahead and maintaining them. Is the compass calibrated? Yes, compass is calibrated. And we go through a, a, a series of checks that we call our clear off checks. We do it regularly while we're navigating, becomes really important uh, in this terrain. I've been doing it in my head before, but I'll do one aloud. So first thing I do is check my compass, make sure that my magnetic compass and my gyroscopic compass are aligned. The flight's going really and well, and I'm learning so much from Catherine. I've always been pretty competent at navigating, but navigating visually from a small aeroplane, this takes it to a whole new level. Wow, and that's all of Birdsville right there. Right there, that's Birdsville. Ah. Here we've got the race course. The famous race course. The famous race course. Valiant <laughs> Foxtrot final, 3-2 for a full stop, Birdsville. 